Okay, we'll do some um, stuff on walking bass lines and swing. Now, swing is really easier than boogie woogie, I think. Um, I mean, I know it comes in different shapes and forms, but let's, let's look at the left hand and we'll look at the right hand separate, just real quick. Now, what I'm going to use in the right hand is if we're in the key of C, I'm just going to invert the C over to the top, so you get that, and the A in the middle, so you get E, G, A, and C in the middle. And that's a nice sort of jazzy chord for the right hand, especially if you slide up from there. Now, for swing, I wouldn't use the boogie woogie or that's quite nice actually but the one I'd use is, is probably simpler than both of them and that's this just alternating that thumb every other note so it's quite easy really and in F back to C If you put the, uh, those right hand stabs I told you, that would be the one you'd play on the C. You wouldn't go all the way up to the F, you'd just put the thumb down to the E flat for the F chord, back to there for the C, and then for the G chord, just move that up. Okay, so you've got F, G, B and D, and you'd be. And then you go to the C. So we'll do the whole swing thing with those chords. Okay. So that's quite so notice how I was sliding off on the C. Okay, and on the F you can slide off, and on the G you can slide off. And the G I was well, I, I, that's the C chord I did. For the F I did that, and you can slide off that just as good. Watch. And then that's the C and then the G. For the G I wasn't doing all of them, I was just doing that. Now just to there's no point in giving you loads of information, but if you invert that, so you get that, and then you do the first one, that's nice, in F, okay, so that's real nice, and then one other little right hand trick is just to put that, if you're in the key of C again, is put that sixth note in, so you've got the E, the sixth and the C. That's a nice jazzy chord. It's kind of it's kind of the same as that one without the G. Now be walking bass lines. Now the boogie woogie classic one is okay. Now as long as you come in, so you obviously got to start on the C when you're in the C, and you got to start on F when you're on F, and you got to start on G when you're on the G. Other than that, you can do your your walking bass lines vary about loads. So the basic would be. Um, so that was just, and you. So that's that's following the very basic pattern. Or we'll do chromatic ones with the go down. So you've got. Well, maybe not chromatic all the way down, but chromatic a bit of the way down, and then conventional the rest of the way. So you might go into C. You might go. Here's a nice little one just to finish with that I, it's, it's easy and yet it's hard. And on that 
that shaky ending will finish. Hope that gives you some guidance. There's loads more to do, but loads to practice there. I'll do another one soon. See you later, guys. Bye.